French meringues have proven themselves an important part of delicate desserts, but don't forget about those little accents like meringue mushrooms. This is the exact same French meringue I started with to make the bird's nest. All you need is a little of this to pipe the stems and caps of mushrooms. So, just like piping a French macaroon, I'm just piping little dollops to look like mushroom caps. Piping French meringue is just like piping with frosting. If you make a mistake, you just scrape it off and start again. Go. And now that I've got the caps, of course, you have to make the stems. And so I just pipe and then lift the piping bag up. There we go. These take a low temperature oven. 275 and they take about 45 minutes. Just like the little bird's nests I made, these puff up a little bit. These are nicely dry. I'll let these cool and I already have some done. go. I've melted just a little bit of chocolate because that's going to be the gills of the mushroom. So all you have to do is take one of the mushroom caps and you poke a little hole with a bamboo skewer. This is where the stem is going to go. Then brush a bit of the melted chocolate over the base and even the brush strokes of the pastry brush look like the gills of the mushroom. Just like so. And then the stem and cap go together. Isn't that cute? I'll decorate a few with a dusting of cocoa powder and I'll leave a few plain. We've got that nice little variety. What a creative use for French meringue. In fact, we've seen so much about French meringue. I know that you can take all of these ideas home to your kitchen to bake and enjoy.